Hello folks, welcome back. Some of you will be disappointed to actually see this face this early. Now, Ben Sports News will come out tomorrow, but I just want to take this opportunity to say 15 episodes in. Thank you so much for watching. I've never done a Journeyman save before, and uh, you seem to really be enjoying the save. I've been like hitting like targets every single day. The views are great as well. Like, see, people seem to really be enjoying this series, so I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Recently hit 37,000 subscribers, so things are going pretty well. 37,000 people is a lot of people, so if you are enjoying the series, do let me know in the comment section. Let me know on Twitter, wherever, wherever you want to let me know, let me know. Uh, it's great to get feedback and i really enjoy the fact that you're enjoying it and uh, i'm really enjoying making it it's one of the most fun saves i've ever made um ben sports news to me we'll be back tomorrow don't worry we've not gone away forever this isn't the start of oh we're just gonna see his face from now on no no there's more to come uh so yeah hopefully you look forward to today's episode and for the first time this series strangely we're on the intro i've not said that yet it seems odd 15 oh, oh i don't know how to feel Hey folks, welcome back to the Journeyman Save with me, Dr. Benji FM. I'm very excited to have you here. Take a seat, get comfy, enjoy yourself. Now, since we last met in the 2-0 win against Waterford United, where Johnny English and Chris Leon, is it the Leons, Leons or Lions? I think I think it's Lions. I'm going to keep saying Lions. Uh, scored the goals. We had two red cards, you might remember. Since then, it's gone okay. Uh, the game straight after that was a 2-2 draw. And in the league, a draw and a win. Now, you'll notice, actually, that a lot of these games we've been playing recently have been cup games. Just cup games coming out of our... Our backsides. Uh, today, though, two league games for you, because I think that's where the real focus is this season. We've got a semi-final coming up later on in the League Cup. I may even show you that one next episode. But UCD and Longford are the teams that I'm going to take on today. And if you take a look at the league table, you can see there that UCD and Longford are challenging me for these promotion playoff spots. Uh, now, they're on 22 points, Longford. UCD, who we play first on 21, we're on 20. And behind us, uh, Limerick and Drogheda are quite close as well. So I'm hoping that we can start today well by getting a win against UCD and propelling ourselves up that league table. We both indeed have a game in hand on Longford. Uh, that, that game's obviously happening right now. In terms of the squad, they're doing all right, you know. They're developing quite nicely. I guess a good one to pick out would be uh, Connor Byrne, who is coming along beautifully, now 17 years old, physically still very good, mentally improving every day and technically the same. Uh, so, yeah, looking forward to seeing how he develops over the, the rest of the season. Up top, we've finally formed a strike partnership. Chris Lyons and uh, Josh O'Hanlon are, are doing very, very well. Nine goals in 15. 15 for O'Hanlon and Lyons has got six in nine starts, which is very good. 7.26 rating for him, 7.28 for, for O'Hanlon. And uh, yeah, the back, I guess it's worth noting, Joe Fagan, a guy that we were waiting for last season uh, because he was injured, you might recall. We had to play three at the back and it was a mess. It's coming along beautifully, far better than I ever anticipated. Uh, very similar to Connor Byrne on that right hand side. Those two could be the future of, uh, of fullbacks in Ireland. You never, you never, never know. Uh, so then, let's crack on with our first game. Keep an eye on the guys mentioned. Of course, the formation and the system remains the same. We're playing two in the middle. Gareth on the right at the moment. Evans on the left. Uh, Shannon's not really doing anything, so he just doesn't play anymore. And then, as I say, the top two up front, the target man and Poacher. The voice is going. Bring it back. Bring it back. It's back. It's fine. Uh, Fagan, Byrne at either side. Then O'Connor and Kelly in the centre with Skinner in goal. And uh, the instructions as are this. Work the ball into the box. Retain possession. Get stuck in. Everything else remains largely the same. Balanced approach. Uh, closing down remains is at the start of the game, and the tempo is still on normal. Don't want to over complicate things i want to keep things quite natural so we are staying with the standard flexible lineup now then let's go into our first game slight uh, fitness concern for stephen kelly but i ain't gonna worry about that brian mccarthy's still injured so whatever there are some dogs they're, they're barking I mean, that's what dogs do, Ben. Okay, we're in third place. We are first of the game. They're playing a 4-4-2 formation and worth knowing that Brian Nolan, the player we had at Shelbourne last season, is playing for them. He's having an okay season. Nothing fantastic, but doing all right. What I'd quite like are two very routine, calm, happy victories. That's all I want. That's all I've ever wanted. All right, we'll bring up the league table and the match stats. And if anything else happens around the grounds... We won't find out because I'm not bringing out the latest scores. Now, we're in the red, shooting from right to left in this first half. They're in the blue. And the first attack after 30 seconds is uh, slightly promising. They've got Swan up front. I remember him. Now, the question some of you might be wondering, the answer to, is how long will we stay well sh with Shelburne 4? Well, the big question is how well we do. If we don't do this well or that we'll do that well this season, if we don't get promoted, for example, I'm probably going to look to move on. The club isn't moving as quick as I'd hoped to. The players won't have been performing if we don't get promoted. Whereas if we win uh, promotion to the, to the above tier... 
then that brings a few questions. How long do we stay with this side? Do, uh, will they be the team that we take to a Champions League final as we come to the end of a riveting first half? And then let me know your thoughts. What do you think we should do then as, as we progress with this team? Does it depend on promotion? What, what, do, you, what do you think? Do we move on? I mean, it's very exciting. Of course, if we get job offers, um, then I will be coming to you with those. At this stage, you might think, well, he's not really asked our opinion on the moves. I've not really had job offers yet. I've just... I've been I've been sacked and had to move somewhere else. But when there's the when it comes about that you know we could go for a job, I will certainly be asking you for your opinion and uh, basing my decision on what you say. As I say, it's been a been a fantastic game so far. Fifty seven minutes in, we're going to go attack in. We've got a corner. Gareth puts it in. Fagan at the back post, headed down, and now Nolan heads away. But uh, Sabawali back into Fagan. Now, if we can get ourselves a goal, get ourselves a lead. I'm not against just defending that now as the ball is launched clear. O'Connor heads it forward, but now Swan is got in behind the defence. He's in one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, and I just, I just knew it was happening. I just, you could hear the sadness before he shot. Dominate the game so far. Ten shots to their four. Fifty-six percent possession. Our pass completion up to seventy percent. As you all know, last season it was pretty dreadful. Tried to improve that this season by retaining possession. Um, and while we've had more possession, we are one nil down with about half an hour to go. You can see the ball played over the top. Swan. In on it, uh, the capacity crowd here at UCD. And, um, yeah, it's a decent finish off the post and in. And, yeah, he, oh, he looks devastated. Oh, we all look sad. They all look annoyed. Right, I went attacking. They scored instantly. Uh, 20 minutes to go. Is it time? <laughs> of course it is. Johnny English is coming on. Lions is going off. English on. Do we bring Elliot on for O'Hanlon or do we keep O'Hanlon out there? I think we keep O'Hanlon out there for now. Um, mm, McAvoy's on a booking. Interesting, I'm not going to take him off. I'm going to take Sobawali off, bring O'Brien on. Hopefully neither of them get sent off. I mean, I feel like I've just... I think the word is jinxed. Oh, quick update as well. Uh, for those that, be, that watched the thing I linked yesterday, I did want you to know the chat podcast thing. I'll link it again if you're interested. Um, I bought a yo-yo. So we might be seeing some yo-yo tricks in an upcoming episode, if I can remember how to do it. You might say, my career as a manager is like a yo-yo. It's up and down, up and down, and eventually it's not worth it anymore. So... <sighs> It's a 1-0 defeat. Unless we score right now. Unless the ball's whipped in. Full time here. The Belfield Bowl. <laughs> That's a great name for a stand, uh, ground, by the way. The Belfield Bowl. Lovely. BB. Um, yeah, it's not going well, has it? Let's just let's just be honest. It's not going well. We're now four points off the top of the table. And we have to beat Longford. Otherwise, today's episode has been a disaster. There's no Ben Sports News. There's no wins. I can't believe this. That'd be the comments. Right, another game today. And uh, the surprising news has come through that Ryan McAvoy is suspended. Who saw that coming? Me. Because he's always suspended. Just debating putting David Cassidy in instead of O'Brien. Because he doesn't get sent off as often, I don't think. Doesn't play as often. That's probably why. I feel like I'm underusing him, though. You look at his dribbling, finishing, first touch, passing's very good as well, technique. I mean, as a playmaker in the centre, he should, in theory, be perfect. He's a journeyman midfielder. I mean, he suits everything about this. I wonder if he's got a camper van. I mean, who knows? Okay, let's get involved. Let's see how we get on. We're going to keep the same system, changing nothing. I think that is, a, that is a mistake I make all too often, is that when I lose a game, I think, right, well, everything must change. Actually, no. This system has been working. They're playing three up front. What the hell is this? They've got three up front. Let's look at him. Michael O'Connor looks fast and irritating. Cowan looks fast and irritating. And Sanford slow and irritating right we're gonna get aggressive i'm expecting to see a solid defensive effort from us today and i want to see some quality finishing right so we're taking a bit of a risk in the center then bringing in uh, a player that's barely played so let's see if it works let's see if it works out now a win will put us above longford that's pretty important really after ucd's victory against us that they're, they're well i mean there's a risk that them and longford if they win if longford win today as well they will pull away from me which is not what i want so they, they pile forward connor puts it in sanford it's a good finish it's a good finish we're going to switch to the counter attack i'm a little bit scared that we're getting overrun so we're gonna to have to play a little bit more defensive and uh, as Longford take a lead, I think Longford, if I'm not mistaken, were in the top division last year. So they're one of the better sides in the division. But as you can see there, the gap is opening up. Longford will be on 25. UCD, uh, UCD will be on 24. And we'll be sat on 20. Concerned. We're th we thinking, what what is left for us here down in fourth? And if you're not in a title challenge, you're a mid-table side. That's just the way it is in the island. As they, they come forward again. Oh, it's a mess. Oh, it's a bloody calamity. I mean, it stayed out somehow. I almost was like, oh, you know, respect the equipment. Then I realised it's a Things Can Only Get t-shirt and it wouldn't have made any sense. I mean, unless things can only get weather. It might work. Can only get weather. It is half time. 
Never mind. Time we say, um, I can't, or do I get assertive? Do I get angry here? I might get passionate, you know. I might keep going up there. You can still win tonight. There we are. That'll do. That's that's the that's the ticket right there. I think we're gonna less retaining possession, more exploiting of the flanks. You know what I said earlier about don't change the system, Ben. Let it work. It's not working, so we're changing it. This could be a very underwhelming and disappointing episode. Let's put it this way: we barely play league games, and then when they come along, we're crapping them. So what's going on here? This hand's come out as if to say, what's going on? Someone explain to me. No one's gonna explain anything, Ben. We're doing all right, though. We're, we're competitive within the game. That's what's frustrating about this. Corner played in. Cassidy plays it in. Powell's there. Lions. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's it. The, that post is getting a battering. Do we make some changes? I feel like change. Johnny English is coming on. He's got to come on. Stephen Elliott's going to join him as well. We're going to we're going to change our striking lineup. And um, anything else we can change, really? I mean, Shannon's going to come on for Gareth because Gareth's done piss all. Come on now. This is. I've had enough of this. We need a win, or a point at the very least. We can't afford to lose this. The gap is becoming insurmountable. It's not, but it's it's a problem anyway. They've got a free kick. I mean, was it even going in? That's the real question we've got to ask. Was it even going in? That's the kind of luck I was looking for. As uh, he's got, he's, he's oh, but that is the most arrogant free kick of all time. Just to clarify, I mean, it's knocked number seven out. He's 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 almost down and out. It's gone in. I mean. Everything about it. Now, he won't celebrate this time because he's not. he doesn't want to seem arrogant. But, my God, he's, he's battered my guy in the chest there. And Skinner, I mean, savings just not in his contract, apparently. Absolutely outrageous. I mean, giving it the old no-look wave. I mean, that could be in any sort of FIFA YouTuber montage, couldn't it? Oh, what? This is my skill. Oh, Shannon, ball in. It's not over. Evans, it's headed down. Elliot's there. O'Connor, Shannon! There we go. 2-1. This isn't over. I was trying to make a joke about FIFA football content creators, but they all do quite a good job, really, so I shouldn't say anything negative. But look out in the future. I mean, I know most of... I think 90% of FIFA YouTubers do watch these videos, so um, look out for the wave no-look shot coming out soon. I'm looking forward to it, if you do spot it. It's like it's become like a nature programme. If anyone spots the, uh, the no-look wave, then do email in it. Tweet me. So, I mean, it's not... It's not a planned, it's not a well-executed goal. It's not a team move, is it? But it's a goal. There is a highlight after the goal. This could mean a whole host of things. Ordinarily, it means you're about to concede and our hopes will be dashed. But there is a chance here that Kelly will win the ball back and Johnny English and crew will fight for an equaliser. Shannon brings it down this right-hand side. I mean, he's been, he's had it taken off him immediately and the ball's just been lumped forward. It's not a great highlight. Now, Burns got a lot to do here. Those three attackers... Are closing in. This ball out's got to be good. Johnny English is there. Nods down. Shannon plays it inside. He gets it back. Cassidy now patrolling in the middle. What a ball out towards their right back. Bloody hell. O'Connor heads down though and Evans is now going to bring this forward and Elliot's through on goal and we know who the man in the middle is. It's a man for all seasons. It's Johnny English. He loves them and leaves them alone. So alone. It's 2-2. Two -two. And you and I don't have a clue about who is doing what, why, when and who. Up a creek with no canoe. Watch out. Because the man for all seasons uh, scores them and leaves them alone so alone i'm making more of an impact on the world than johnny english too with this series so wow people get very upset about my criticism of the second johnny english film is it good i've not even not even seen it. as the ball's played in last ditch are oh it's clears but what a comeback um there we are then shelbourne two longford two and we keep our grasp on a promotion fight despite that defeat to ucd who are a decent side in this division it should be noted they're one of the better teams uh we now stay competitive with longford limerick are there as well and well my word is it hotting up here shelbourne move into promotion contention oh yes we do right then we're actually going to end it there thank you so much for watching i've enjoyed this episode hopefully you have too if you have enjoyed it too drop a like on it if you want to see more subscribe to the channel and we love with care from it's until next time i'll see you again very very soon Ben sports news will be back tomorrow don't worry he won't be driving, though, that's for sure. That's a guarantee.